Hello everyone, it's Cookie. Welcome to my channel, Cookie's Cache. Hope everyone's having a good day. Um, we're gonna have a sale here in a minute, but I wanted to introduce you to my two little mascots that are here. They're for sale this evening. One's a little brown bear, dark brown bear chocolate, and his paws and his little eyelashes. So it's bear number one. And bear number two, he's kind of a coffee-colored bear with little blue eyes and a blue ribbon. They are uh, not toys. They're collectibles. I make these and uh, needle felt them with real wool. And uh, they're for sale this evening. They're, um, this one is 15 and this one is 18. So if you're interested, all you have to do is go down to my comments and put want. Now, everything this evening in the jewelry section, we're going to do something new to help people through hard times and kind of um, boost my sales, of course. But um, during this difficult time, money, money is short out there. So this evening, when I quote you a price, we will take the original price and take a dollar off of it. And you still have to pay shipping. So um, say if something started out at $5, I'll tell you it's five minus the one will be four. So just a little something to help you out during this time. And, and like I say, it helps me out and it makes you feel good. Um, I hope everybody's coping with the, the, the uh, craziness out there. But just remember, wash your hands and keep your faith in God. And also, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Um, hit that subscribe button. Go out to the right side and hit the bell. And uh, that way you can follow me along as I have bag openings and sales. And uh, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Still trying to get our chat up. We're, uh, give us a, just a few minutes here. We're still trying to get our chat up. We are live, but we're trying to get it going. Hello, Romeo's Teddy. Or, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello, Romeo's Tea Lady. Boy, what, what, I don't know what I was thinking. Hi, Sonia. How are you today? Hi, Romeo's Tea Lady. How are you today? How's everybody doing? Do you have enough toilet paper out there? <laughs> you just, you just kind of have to laugh and go along with everything and trust, trust, have your faith. Keep going. Hello, butter, blue butterfly. Hello, everyone that's coming on board. Glad to see you. Glad you made time for me today. So today we're going to have a mixture of things, a lot of necklaces, um, uh, no real antiques today, some vintage, some wood, some real stones. So we'll get started going and see what's going. And so let's start off with number one. Okay, number one is a 10 inch drop with a two inch extender. It's copper tone, copper colored, and uh, it's a leaf pendant. And this little chain has little tiny uh, beads all the way up the chain. It's a solid leaf and then it has like a, um, like a skeleton leaf over it. It's very pretty, uh, not real fancy, but could be depending on what you're wearing, really nice. Very pretty. The extender is finished. So this one would come in at $3. So you knock, you knock off a dollar and it's $2. That is number one, presently at $2 plus shipping. Hello, Michelle, how are you? I'm glad you could make it. Is your little one feeling better? Timing out. Uh -huh. Is yours? Are you buffering out there? Everyone, can you give me a? Is it buffering on you? That means is it kind of having that round thing in the middle? It keeps going round and round. The round circle in the middle. I have to get out and go back into it. But yours is okay. If it is, try and get out of it real quick and get back in. I'm still untangling this number two. Number two 
is four dollars so you knock a dollar off it's a 21 inch chain his fever is down to 99.3 is he doing okay does he just have a bit of a cold or sonia says it keeps buffering no buffering okay number two i said was four knock a dollar off so we're looking at three and I said it was a 21 inch with uh, clear acrylic beads, acryl, blah, 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 a clear acrylic bead at the bottom as, as your focal point. Then you have these um, circular or beads here as a station with large rhinestones. And then you have, it's all silver tone. Then you have these acrylic beads with like Aurora Borealis little bumps on them. I can, can you see that? They're kind of knobby looking, but it's a pretty, pretty necklace. Very long, very lightweight because of the acrylic. And as I said, that one this evening is $3. Good. I'm, I'm glad fever down to 99.3. Are you are you going to take him in to get tested, or are you just he just seems like a cold, cough, fever, and congestion, but not feeling well? Oh, bl bless his heart. Well, we'll we'll all say we'll all say a little prayer for him that he gets better because it's no fun when kids are sick; they can't tell you really what's what's wrong. But we'll keep him in our prayers. Hello, Ramy. How are you? Remy says it's this is very moon goddess looking. Yes, it is. Okay, that was number two. Now number three <clears throat> is two dollars. No, I'm sorry, it's three dollars. Take take a dollar off. It's eight inch brown leather necklace with a toggle. And this is an A and E, which is American Eagle, and it has kind of a rustic-looking silver tone. Now it didn't stick, so it's silver tone, silver coating over something. But it is so presently, it would be two dollars. It's a nice little jeans and t-shirt accent. Get it down here where you can see it. So number three is two dollars. Oh, I'm glad you did take some time and get over here. Number four. Number four this evening is 16 inches long. It is $5, so with a dollar off, it would be $4 with shipping. This is a long piece. It's um, 16 inches. It's a station necklace. It has these little um, stations all the way down. Some are longer, some are shorter. They have little X's and chevrons inside of them. It's a very, very nice piece. And this is a um, Stella and Dot piece. Long, kind of dressy for the workplace or an evening out. So that one is presently $4 plus shipping. Number five is $6, knock a dollar off, plus shipping, eight inches with a two inch extender with a tag, and the tag is USA. It's gold tone with a lobster claw clasp, um, very lightweight. It's a twisted chain in between. Actually, it almost feels like um, fabric. So I'm going to say it is, that it's that cording. And it has um, large faceted crystal, and they're glass, multifaceted beads. And then there's gold stone, a gold crystal um, faceted stone. And then you have these periodic gold tone, very light. Almost They almost look like they're a silver tone, but they aren't. They're gold. But that one this evening, sorry, got a little crink in my neck there when I was looking at it. 
It's number five. So that would have been six dollars. It's five dollars at present. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. That is, I said it was. It's the USA, number five, six dollars, knock a dollar off, so it's five. I'm gonna ho I hope I don't get myself and you confused doing this, but I thought it I thought we'd try it and see what happens. Everybody likes a little discount. Now this one, I've untangled it, my husband's untangled it. If you happen to purchase it, be sure and hang it up <laughs> because it what they do is they tangle in themselves. Down here, this longer one wants to get inside the other one. But this one is number six. And number six is five dollars with a dollar off, makes it four. It's a 10 inch drop with a three and a half extender, gold tone lo lobster clasp. And that that uh, extender has a finish to it and it is um, faceted. Uh, they're not round, they're rondelles, multifaceted gold tone rondelles. It's a pretty necklace, very pretty. You know, it just adds that little pop of color. Looks like citrine. No, it's not quite that yellowy, but yeah. It, yeah, I guess you could, depending on what you had, what you were wearing, you could, it could be, but it's, yeah, this is not, but yeah, it is pretty. Okay, that was number six, presently at $4. Number 17 is $5, knock a dollar off, 13, 13 inches long with a two inch extender, not finished. It's a white highlight with a deep gray matrix. Give me just a quick second here. I'm gonna take my, my uh, tablet and, and get out and get back in because it's, it's buffering so Everybody's bad. Everybody's buffering tonight. Everybody is. If you're buffering real bad, uh, back out of it completely and then get back in. I know sometimes I'll stay on I'll stay on this number seven with the with the halite. It's a pendant. It's on a <coughs> copper colored um, necklace. It has a little bit of tarnish up here at the lobster claw clasp, but it is not um, I tried I didn't want to wash it a lot. I did put some wash into it but I didn't want to wash it a lot because it's on the back and it has nothing to really do with the necklace it's just over time that has kind of set but it is a pretty little piece and there again that's that denim and t-shirt look that I'm always telling you guys about so that is number seven presently at four dollars plus shipping Please, guys, on your way in or your way out, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. I really appreciate you all being here. You'd like to see, is there anything special? Do you want sterling silver? And, of course, with sterling silver, the price goes up. I have a few pieces of gold with diamonds, not a lot, ones that I've found in bags and, and been just delightedly surprised. But um, let me know. Keep in touch. Okay, number eight is four dollars knock a dollar off so it's three eight and a half inch drop and it has a magnet clasp kind of a copper color or actually bronze because these are black glass beads um, for the most part they're faceted there are some um, flat discs in there especially the main part right down here and then you've got these kind of a brass, coppery looking faceted uh, station beads. And you have these barrel beads. Everything is faceted or crystal shaped. And it's really a nice piece. So that this evening is $3. Number eight for $3. Okay, number nine is a bit of a long one. Number nine is 12 inches with a one inch extender. 
no marks. So far we haven't, well, we run into a couple of them, but this is three strands and it has these acrylic clear crystal beads, kind of a, uh, they call them novets shape. And then you have these like uh, acrylic beads here, white, and then you have this cream colored. Oh good, I'm glad the buffering has stopped. Which one are you asking about on the Sterling? No, she's, she's oh. you asked what they wanted to Oh, see. you want to see Sterling. Okay, so we'll we'll incorporate that for the next uh yeah, sterling silver. Okay, we'll we'll post some of that out for next Thursday. But these are like a creamy color bead. They're like hand carved. I'm they're cool, but they're not cold. I'm gonna say they're acrylic, so as not to mis mislead anybody. These are silver tone Asian motif to them. And these are black beads in between. And this this acrylic bead is um like I said, off-white with like a very light blue in it. Nice necklace. Very pretty. Needs to lay out a little bit longer. And that one was number nine and presently at $4. So it was five. I knocked a dollar off. Number 10 is $4. Knock a dollar off. It's $3. This is... 11 inches long with a th uh, three inch extender. It's finished. I keep going up high on this, on this uh, display. Uh Oh, I've already done this twice today. It, they, these longer ones like this with the open chains have a tendency to tangle real easily. They don't on your neck, but they do when they're just laying around. Can't lay them around. They have to hang around. They have these little hangers for, for jewelry on eBay and at Walmart and so forth. But what you have here is um, three strand necklace. Does have a lobster claw clasp. Uh, they're all acrylic beads. There's some off white. Uh, some like a um, amber colored. Here's some copper beads. Uh, caramel, a kind of a caramely coffee caramel color. Very pretty. It's actually more fall looking. And then you have a black station bead in here. And that one is number ten. Four dollars. Knock a dollar off plus shipping. Okay, number 11 is really pretty, I think. Number 11 is $8, take a dollar away. And this is a seven and a half inch drop. And they're pearls and they're wrapped with gold tone. Very, very delicate looking uh, necklace, pearl necklace. And it adds some jazz because of that gold tone. It does make it pop. And then I have pierced earrings that I've matched with it. These are gold tone and they don't stick. Um, I wouldn't venture to say they are, um, what would you call them? They're not, uh, they're not sterling silver, but I think they're gold tone over silver because they don't are over some type of material. They're hammered and they've got three stations. And that is um, that this evening. Uh, let's see here. That one is number 11, presently at $7. Lost my train of thought because I was trying to think about what these are. It's like a three-tiered space with the pearls dangling in it. I wanted you to get the fact because there are some... There are some little ABs in there that make it down here at the bottom. It's pretty, very nice necklace. 
That was number 11, presently at $7. Now number 12 is $6. Take your dollar off. And it's an 11-inch drop. And it is their red, kind of a blood red beads. I'm going to say they're all acrylic. It's got a lobster claw clasp. It is, oh, sure. <laughs> um, I think I tried to see this one earlier, and I, and I could see it, but I couldn't make it out. Let me try one more time. Yes, this is laurel leaves below the crown. I am not familiar with that, so if any of you know what it is, it's a really nice piece. It's got these brass beads in between. Just really pretty. And that extender is three inches, and that was six. It's now five. Number 13. Oops. Number 13 is two stretch bracelets. Both got both are crystals, have crystals. Now this one feels cold, I'm sure, because of the metal. And it has a little prayer box. Let's see if I, I think this is the sweetest little thing. And it's silver over copper. And the reason I say that is it does have some wear where it's been handled here, where you can see the copper coming out. But I the reason I put it out there is because it just adds to it. It's like, like they dab the silver down in, in inside the copper. It's the cutest little box. Carry your prayer, or your loved one in there that you're thinking of. These are acrylic beads, and they're pink and white. It's a stretch, has very good stretch. And then you have this one with lamp work beads. This one has a purple or amethyst colored uh, foil bead. These are all stone or glass. The lampwork beads are there. There's some elongated ones. There's round one with the little pink flower in it that I just love. Little butterflies, a heart with the lampwork piece on the outside raised. Another rose bead. These, this is just a darling, darling bracelet. I'll pop it on real quick so you can see what it looks like. I just think that's so cute. You could wear them both together very easily, but I think this one outshines it. This one has the cute little um, box on it, and then this one has the hearts and the lampwork beads. This, this evening, for these two, is $8, but knock a dollar off, so you get two of them for $7. Next up is another stretch bracelet. Number 14, number 14 is $8, knock a dollar off, $7 plus shipping, and it's that cha-cha bracelet. It's gold tone on the stretch part of it. It is like a watch band. It's in excellent condition. I don't think anybody even wore this. These black beads are acrylic, but the nice thing about the black beads, I don't know if you can see it, the head pins are um, rhinestone, rhinestone set, um, prong set, excuse me, I lost my train of thought, prong set rhinestones. So it is, it's, that's another one that's a real cute one on. Oh, blue butterfly. You want that number 11? I got it. Oh, okay. My helper here is way ahead of me which helps a lot. <laughs> I guess that's why they call them helpers. Okay. But this one is um, number 14, presently at $7. Number 15 is 11, 11 and a, 11. <laughs> okay, let me, take, let, me, let me take a drink of my soda here real quick because I can't seem to get my mouth to work. Maybe I should put something in my soda. Okay, back to work. We have an 11-inch drop with a finished extender. It's a rustic or antiqued silver tone. And it has this these bunches of 
acrylic beads. It's not heavy at all. And they start with a very light blue, a uh, little bit darker, and then the deep denim. This is just really nice, nice statement necklace. Really pretty. That one is nine dollars, knock a dollar off. So that one this evening is eight bucks. See how pretty that's almost like a bib. It just and I like it because it has these individual clusters. They're like grapes, only blue grapes. Okay, that one is <clears throat> eight dollars this evening. Okay. Number 16 is $6. Take your dollar off, so $5. It's a gold tone stretch hammered rounded squares. Rounded squares. Hmm. The corners are rounded is what I mean. One end is up and one end is, is um, concave and convex. It's a pretty, pretty bracelet. Very pretty. It's brand new. Good stretch. Number 17. Give me 15. Oh, thank you, Blue. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I appreciate you being here with us. And number 15. Did you, um, you put number 15. That's the, the kind of a blue denim statement. Statement necklace. Is that the one you were meaning? Blue butter butterfly number 15. Okay, I'll wait till you catch up. Um, my my uh, tablet is buffering continuously, so I'm probably way behind you guys. But anyway, this one is number 17. Presently nine dollars. Take a dollar off, takes it down to eight. And this is 13 inches with a finished extender, which is a silver ball, silver bead. It's really nice. It has three sections of chains on each each um, side. So you've got you've got like three and then <clears throat> two in the middle and then three on the side. This would look better on then. I should have my, I'll have to bring my dummy out and set that up for next time. I Excuse just, me? <laughs> I could put it on my husband and you could look at it then, but I just don't think it would have the effect. Okay, silver tone with large like uh, potato shaped beads as stations, smaller ones here. It's a pretty necklace. It's uh, like I said, it's $8 this evening. And that knockoff of a dollar is just for this evening, just to kind of ease us through these troubled times. That was number 17 at $8. Number 18 is a kind of antique um, clamper bracelet. And it has a tight clamp on it. Silver tone, a lot of scroll work. This one is, um, was six, it's five has a large hematite and it's around it's I would say it is at least a, at least a six or seven because this one's I, I my my wrist is very thin I'm gonna put it on so you can see what it's like it's it I swim in it but if you have a little bit larger wrist it would look good because you don't want to have to put it all the way up there let's see very pretty. That one's number 18 this evening. Very easy to get on and off. If you could. There we go. So this evening it's five. It's very impressive. And next up, three piece lot. For seven dollars this evening, it's six, and these are 
long strands. They're, I'm gonna say this, the, just the strand by itself is 36 inches. But as you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble. This is a multicolored one. It's got gold and um, more like a citrine, silver spacers and hematite, and there's blue and there's black beads. It's just a lot of sparkly colors and they're all, they're all cool. So they're all glass, but it's magnetized as you can see. I'm gonna play with it a little bit here if I can get it untangled. It's not tangled, it just sticks to itself. So you can have a long necklace, you can have a multi-strand bracelet. I know I'm gonna regret putting this on because then it's gonna take just as long to take it off. Isn't that pretty? Can't get a center on it. And see how they line up that magnet? But you certainly could. That's a three piece lot. Oh, and I said they were glass, they're not. Uh, some are, some aren't, they're acrylic. I can feel them, but Let's just keep it at acrylic because I'm thinking that that's not going to fly because some are and some aren't. Uh, you could also have a, a single strand necklace, but we've got the multicolored one. We've got the Michelle, are you wanting this three piece lot? Here is a teal green, beautiful teal with gold accents and the hematite. And then we have um, kind of a St. Yes, please, the number, the number 19. What? The one you're doing. Yeah. That's what she wants. Oh, okay. We're arguing over whether you want it or not, Michelle. <laughs> okay. Yes, she does. And then we have this like uh, shamrock green with the gold accents. And actually, the teal one has gold accents, too, with the hematite. They're a fun set of, that That really um, enhances your jewelry stash. But they're yours, and they're yours this evening for $6. Then next up, I have number 20. I wish my screen would quit buffering. It's very confusing to me. Congrats, Mich Michelle. You made good choices on that one. Um, this is a two bracelet lot. One is glass, one is acrylic. And this is that, um, here we go, dang, uh, crystal, glass crystal, rondel and ro round, shaped beads on a basically silver tone um, it's stretch silver tone beading in between very nice and then we have this whimsical great little charm bracelet and i'll see if i can lay it out here so you can see it a little bit better it has let's see where is the clasp it's a class bracelet. It has some fun charms on it because, and that's what's special about it is that you don't have to have any one particular thing. You know, it's got its own theme going, but you start out and it has an extender, quite a long extender. And it's eclairs, which doesn't take anything away from them because they have stepped up their jewelry, but it's gold tone. And it has, let's do it this way. I'm not getting anywhere with this back and forth. Okay, we start out with a kind of a light salmon pink rose, a pearl. Uh, it's just like a tablet with a large cross on it. A bird cage. A, a dove, a turtle dove. Um, we have a medallion that says love. It has like, looks like a little, like there was a little 
like there was a, like it's a wannabe rhinestone, but it's just a little silver dot. Here's the here's a rhinestone, clear rhinestone, a little tag with a rhinestone on it, another rhinestone, a diamond ring with a little rhinestone, another turtle dove, um, another rose, a key, the Eiffel Tower, a little poodle dog. A hanger, a, a cup, a teacup, a purse, another key, another pearl, another rose, and another rhinestone. So all in all, very nice little set. And that set was $8, number 20. It's 7 this evening. Number 21 is a two-ring lot. It was their gold tone. And they are um, earring lot, two earring lot. This pair is um, like um, burnished, not burnished, um, brushed, brushed gold. Um, they have that wonderful clasp that I'm always looking for. It pops in and it pops out. That way you don't lose it. It has a good, good snap to it. It's good and tight. And uh, very pretty. That's about a three. No, it's about a half inch loop. It looks bigger, but it's not. And then you have the large one. And this two earring lot was $4. It is $3 this evening. It's twenty number 21. And these are like a dangle hoop. And this is the little button or bead for the pierced earring. Then it has a silver loop, and then it has a gold loop and a smaller gold loop inside. It's very pretty. I don't know what happened to my little, I had a little thing that I stuck these on, but I don't see it now. Very lightweight, gold tone, very pretty. That this evening, as I say, at present is $3. And now this is unusual for me to bring out because I don't usually do rings because I don't have a ring set and I don't always think that rings display very well on my hands, but we'll go for it tonight. We'll see what happens. Get it stuck on something here. This is number 22, size seven. It is 925. It was $9. It's $8 and it's malachite with braiding around the outside. The shoulders are just plain. It's just real plain, but it's a cute little ring. Size seven, and as I said, this evening it's seven dollars. Michelle says we should bring out more rings. <laughs> oh well, you know what? I'll combine some of that silver next week with rings. I have a lot of sterling silver rings, and just regular rings. So I'll bring that out. That was number twenty-two. At present, is eight dollars. Thank you guys for suggesting things for me to show because a lot of times when I'm in there looking to pick, it's like, okay, I've shown this, I've shown that. We've done a black one. You know, do, do you think they want red? Do you think they want blue? Is that stone cold? It's malachite. So is it cold? Is it cold? <laughs> Let me see. Let me double check it. I don't think they... No. No, no, no. Thank you for asking. That is an acrylic malachite. So it's a malachite wannabe, but it does have the light swirls. It's not real, um, not real defined, but you can see the swirls in it. Okay, number 23 is a three cat or three piece cat pin set. And it this evening is um, was thirteen dollars. It is twelve dollars. Breaks it down to about three apiece. But you've got the little cats in the basket, and that is a rollover cl clasp. That's a little bit antiquey or vintage, I should say. Then we have this lovely shiny, shiny. Uh, cat, you see the back and the tail is articulated. Moves. 
with little rhinestones in the bow. And then you have this little guy that's a little bit larger, and tried to hang on to a branch. And he is, um, don't think there's a name there. No, it's just where, no? Maybe let me look real quick. Well, it, but it's not clear. It's like they buffed it or something. I see a copyright, but I don't see a name. And what about this one? Blue butterfly wants one. Oh, blue butterfly, you want the kitty pins? Okay, the kitty pins this evening are $12. Get him back in his bag so he doesn't get scratched because it is cute. That's a cute, cute set. Somebody likes cats, that's a great gift. Okay, you, got, you guys, you know that you can go on my on my uh, channel page and um, hit that subscribe, hit that bell, but you can also go down there a little ways and hit the share with your friends and neighbors, have them tune in. If you like what I do and you want me to continue, please hit that thumbs up on your way out. This is uh, number 24. Four dollars, knock a dollar off, so it's three dollars. These are pierced earrings with an antique silver tone with blue and teal rhinestones. These are acrylic stones, and I the cabochons on this on this teardrop are, are all acrylic as well. It is really a pretty set of earrings. I think when I hold it up, you don't get the true color, it just doesn't. There's a teardrop crystal hanging here. They're really pretty. They're pierced ears. And they are about a two inch drop. And they are $3 this evening. Okay, we have a three, two, three pair earring lot. They're all pearls. This is number 25. They would be $5, but this evening they're four. This one still is on the card, and it looks like somebody took their favorites off. Or maybe they were white, maybe they were cream. But these large ones are pink. The other ones are a creamy white. They're both in excellent condition. They pierced here. And then you have this set, which is really pretty. Is um, and the drop on this one is a, a about two and three quarters. And I'm trying to get it to lay and not tangle with the other guy. Okay. These are drop on silver tone. And they have three swirls and then the pearls hanging down. And I, as I said, they're all pearls. And this evening, number 25 for $4. Okay, we're moving right along. We're just going to zip right through this. If I keep zipping through it like I am, I'll have to add some more. Not this evening, but the next time I will. I'll add more. Let's see. Now, this is a really pretty piece. I like this. I liked it for myself. I wish I wish it was in silver tone. I don't know. I'm just not a gold tone right now. I was only gold for so many years, like maybe 18 years, and then I got hold of the silver and haven't turned it loose. This number 26 was $9. It's $8 this evening. 13 inch gold tone, double chain. Very, very delicate chain. And it's that um, uh, like braided and it has a um, spring clasp, ring spring clasp. And it has nine little beads down here, gold beads as the focal point. Very pretty. I'm going to see if I can't lift this up and show you how delicate this chain is. It just, you can, I think you can see it. It's just really lightweight. Very pretty. And that one was 26 at $8 this evening. Okay. Next up is different. I haven't had any many requests for this, so I haven't put any out, but I thought, hey, tonight's a good night. 
Number 28 was $10. It's $9 presently. It's an 8-inch drop, chunky uh, wood beads, and um, they, they are um, graduated. They start out smaller and then get bigger, and then, of course, you have your three larger pieces. This one is, um, like I said, 8-inch, and it has a um, spring clasp ring. Spring ring clasp. <laughs> but you've got your caramel-colored beads, your kind of um, coffee a little bit darker, and then you've got your cream-colored beads with silver interspersed. Then you have your stations down here that are actually silver tone. And then these two wonderful dot plus drop medallion earrings that are punctured and slashed or carved so that they look like, you know, they have been carved. And this is, um, this is, as I said, $10. These are made out of um, coconut. So I hope you're getting the true color on that because it's really rich looking with that darker browns. Very pretty. So number 28 at $9. Now, here comes a big old lot of earrings. This is four pair of earrings. Well, actually, it's more. Number 29 at $6, but it's $5 this evening. Number 29 is I've got one two-inch hoop pair, one three-inch hoop pair, and one large and in charge, if I can get it out of there, a teardrop pair, dropped it. A two and a half inch earring. Let's see. Bear with me. I dropped one of them on the floor. By the way, with um. With all the troubled times we're going through right now, I've washed my jewelry and I've sanitized it. So no worries on that. Just, you know, when you go to open the box, because I have no control over the, you know, mail delivery, whoever delivers it. it just bounced. Okay. Um, but here is uh, one, two, three, four. Five sets of hoop earrings. They're still on the card. They took what they needed and gave the rest away. And so this set right now is um, these these beads are like a. I want to say they're black. They could almost be uh, gunmetal, but I think they're black. This is wrapped. This is more of an artisan um, earring set. But this right now was six dollars. It's five dollars this evening. That's number twenty nine. They all look like they're brand new. I mean, I don't think they've been worn. And these these are the type of earring that they are silver tone. They're not sterling. But what I always do is I keep a little polishing cloth in my jewelry box for my silver. And if you're not wearing them all the time, they're going to tarnish. If you wear them all the time, they won't as much. But I give them a little rub before I put them on. And I have several sets of these because I have three holes in each ear. So... A lot of earrings. Number 30 this evening is number 30 is six dollars. This evening it is five dollars. And this is a three ring, three ring lot. They're adjustable. This one is a fun one. It's a stretch and antique white with the silver burnished. And it's a little butterfly. Isn't that pretty? All the rhinestones are present. I thought that was so fun. I used to think that stretch rings weren't in, but boy, people still wear them to this day. And this one, let's see if I can find a finger. It'll go on. No, mine are swollen tonight. Anyway, this one is adjustable, silver tone. As you can see, it's adjustable. And it has the uh, red AB look of rhinestones. It's raised, and it's got that kind of a dotted type silver tone or the silver tone is made to look like um, like rhinestones, but it picks up the, the look really well. So you've got those two. 
Let me see here. Oh. Wow. I thought I was doing a lot. That That's great, Sonia. Yeah, so far I've been lucky enough to keep, you know, I put them in just before they close. And then this third little one is a fun one, too. It's also adjustable. It's the gold tone one of the group. And it's, I don't know if you're all familiar with it, but the Red, the Red Hat Society. And I believe it's when you are 50, you can start to wear the red hat. I could be wrong. Correct me. Uh, Romeo's Tea Lady would know this one. But you can wear the red hat. And here's the um, amethyst colored uh, rhinestones to go with it. Aren't those pretty? And this evening, number 30 for the three rings was $6. It's $5 right now. And that one on the ring finger is not for sale. <laughs> that took me a lot of years to earn that. She said yes, it's 50. Oh, okay. Thank you. So at what age can you wear the purple with the red, the purple hat? Which one? 30. Thank you, Blue Butterfly. I appreciate it. Congratulations. That's a good one. <laughs> Romeo's Tea Lady, I'm reaching out to you. What 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 age can you wear um, the purple hat with the red trimming? The red hat is at 50, but the purple hat is that at 45? Oh, I guess she left us. Okay, well, we'll move on and maybe she'll pop in there again. Okay, now next up I have the um, number 31 at $8, knock a dollar off. This one is <laughs> 660. 660. Not 60. <laughs> okay, you meant 60? No, 60 can't be. You can't wear the red hat before you wear the purple hat. I know that much. Yeah, there's a purple hat you wear at a younger age than than you you wear the purple hat, and then when you get to a certain age, you get to you get to graduate to the red hat. The red hat is the top of the line. So this is a three piece set. Pierced ears, uh, number thirty one. They were eight. They're seven this evening. We have two silver tones, and one silver tone with the blue. I'm going to test them real quick again. Yeah, they're they're cool. I'm going to reach out there and say that these have the look of lapis. I don't have a stone tester. I'm just familiar with what they have. They have a very light, whitish silver tone. But the, they're brand new. They're surrounded by a little rope. And they're very pretty. Let me see if I can get them up close for you. They don't show very well on the black. And then. So purple hat's after the red hat. <laughs> no, the purple hat is not after the red hat. And I can say that to Romeo's tea lady because she's a pretty close friend. The red hat is the big one. The When, when you finally got your golden ticket kind of. Well, golden ticket is until 70, so I wouldn't know. I'm way far from there. <laughs> he, 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 laugh out loud. Okay, here's the second set of earrings or pair of earrings. And these are ovals. They swirl. You've got um, uh, filigree on one side. Looks like a vine with very small uh, dots, uh, like possibly seeds. And then you have like a braid or stepping stones here in the middle. And then a hammered silver look. Brand spanking new. And these look like a crocodile scale or stepping stones. And they are brand new. And this even, I put that on backwards. Hmm. This three piece lot this evening was $8. It's $7 for all three. Nice set if you like to wear a little, little, little bit of dangle. Okay, listen to this, ladies. 
Purple Hat Society is loosely based on the Red Hat Society, a social group for women who are 50 years old and above. Founded in 1998 by artist Sue Ellen Cooper, the Red Hat Society group has spawned about 40,000 chapters in the United States and 30 other countries as of 2014. Um, it doesn't say an age for the Purple Hats. Okay. So there. I might stand. I might stand corrected, Romeo's tea lady. And thank you, Michelle. I put your earrings aside. I appreciate it. Next Blue up. Blue butterfly got those. No, Michelle. Oh, I'm sorry. Blue butterfly. I'm sorry. Well, no. So okay. Want okay. Blue butterfly wanted number thirty-one, the ear, three earring set, uh, Michelle, and she was in before you. So I'm sorry, sweetie. But I'll have more. First come, first serve, and you know that's the way. So I, I'm trying to shoot for a hundred subscribers, guys, and then I will start going to an auction if that's what you like, or if you'd rather me just keep this the way it is, low low prices, and if you get in, you get in. And this is a three ring, three ring lot. It's they're all. Um, no, this one is not adjustable. This one with the little rose. It's on gold tone with an antique silver look, but it's got little white enamel, very cute. And this one is not adjustable and it sits right at an eight. So that's a larger ring that could be on a, a pointer finger. Okay, yeah, if, if we've got lag time out there, that's what happens. Okay, then we have a stretch ring that's like a um, an antique white. Did I have one of these earlier? I guess I did. Oh, it was, I don't know. Anyway, this is brushed. It's like a copper tone underneath, and it has these little, like, daisies with rhinestones, and they're all, they're all there. Very cute. And then you have a stretch. And then you have this one, which I think is gorgeous. This is such a fun ring. And it's stretch as well. And it's on gold tone. And it's got, um, like, it's acrylic. And if you can see it, it's like a beige brushed inside the acrylic. And it's prong set. And then a little rhinestone right in the middle. That set this evening was $6.00. At present, it's five. So a nice little flower set of rings. Okay. Let's see here. And last but not least, I'm going to reintroduce my little bears to you guys. We've got bear number one. Bear number one, bear number two, this one has little uh, eyelashes and a little paws. And these guys are, um, I think I told you they were 18. They're handmade out of wool and that's sheep's wool. And I felt they have their little tails. Their legs and arms are not movable as these are, are collectibles rather than, than toys. And this one has little blue eyes. I have a lot of ladies, or I have a lady, I should say, that purchases those for her her grandbabies as they're born. And boy, she was she was keeping me busy there for a while. She had grandbabies coming left and right. Okay, number thirty three for the evening is a very long thirty six inch silver beads nine two five. It's Mexican silver. I don't know if that matters to you. It doesn't to me. Silver is silver, unless it's sterling. So this is along the lines of the alpaca. As you can see, they're like, it has a little bit of a tinkle to it, but it's not, it's not because there's bells. It's because they hit each other. And they're little barrel or roundy beads with cutouts in them. Pretty rustic looking. And then you have this, um, like, in-between stations that hooks the chain together. And it's kind of like a an eye, but it's got a twisted swirl in the middle. They're cute. Some of them have cuts in them and some of them don't. 
It's a very nice piece. That one this evening is was $11. And like I said, it's long. You could wear it two, possibly even three times around your neck. And it is 10 at present. That is a fun, fun necklace. Those are the things I like to wear. So we've had some pretty good pieces this evening. I will work on a silver presentation and on a ring presentation for you for next Thursday. Ask Michelle what size rings. My, Michelle, what size rings are you looking for? You guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way out. I'd really appreciate it. And I appreciate all you being here this evening, taking time out of your busy. Uh, Romeo's Tea Lady is wanting number 25. And number. Oh, number 25 and number 33. Somebody's got 33, don't they? Mm -hmm. No. What did you do with 33? I ate it. No, I didn't eat it. Haven't had supper yet. <laughs> I'm being funny with my husband, guys. Sorry. Um, Michelle, did we get, get back on you on that sizes, any particular size you were looking for? I think, if I'm not mistaken, they, all the, the rings that I have coming out, and they are in sterling, and they're um, 1900s to 1920s, and they, uh-huh, yeah, they're they're adjustable, so it makes it great. So I'll. I'll pull some of those for next time. Uh, Romeo's Tea Lady, we're looking for number 25 and 33. We found number 25. 33 was... There's no 33. There's got to be. Oh, that's right, right there. Number 30, 34. No, that's number 34. The, the silver chains are number 35. Can you tell me what number 33 was? I think... Um, you said 33. 36 inch. Silver bees. And oh, they okay. Have 34 on the card. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Um, once again, my husband is right. I'm never going to live this down. You know that. This silver chain is what you're talking about, uh, T Lady. And it is, um, yeah, it was $10. Yeah, it's $10. I numbered it wrong. I'm sorry. I was a little off today. What can I say? Of course, that's every day. But, just want to say thank you all. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way out. I love you all. Video coming out yeah, we have, a, we have a three-parter coming out tomorrow. So look for it like mm, any, it could be any time of the day. But if you hit the bell, you'll get notified. Uh, it has to be a three-parter because it is so big. Um, the next couple of bag openings are going to be real big. So there'll be two or three-parters. I just want to tell you all, stay safe. Wash your hands, have faith, be good to one another. I love you all for being here. Thank you so much. Have a good evening.